Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to evaluate expressions used using the given variables. So, if I was given this expression, p minus 9 minus m plus q, I'm going to use the variables m equals 4, p equals 5, and q equals 3. Okay, So again, we're given this expression. We want to substitute each one of these variables into the corresponding variable there. So m is 4, p is 5, and q is 3. So the first letter I see here is a p, which is a 5. So 5 right here for p. Subtracting 9 here, right? Yeah, that was 9. <laughs> Minus m which we know to be 4, plus q, which is 3. And now we've substituted every single one of these variables to the corresponding one here and put the numbers in. So now we need to simplify. Let's remember our order of operations. So inside these sets of parentheses here, I have the 4 plus the 3. I need to combine those together first. So the 9 stays out here. 4 plus 3 is 7. And we have the uh, 5 minus on the outside. Okay. So now we have this set of parentheses right there, and we need to subtract inside of there first. So we have 9 minus 7 comes first, so 9 minus 7 comes out to be 2, 5 comes out, and lastly 5 minus 2 is 3, and 3 is my final answer. So to quickly recap here, we have our variables, we plug them back in, substitute. Now I put parentheses uh, for every single time I substitute, and I strongly recommend that. Sometimes, though, with all these parentheses that are around here, it might get too hectic, but generally I, I prefer to put parentheses around everything that I substitute in. So then we dealt with this, these set of parentheses first. 4 plus 3 was that 7. 9 minus 7 came out to be 2. And lastly, 5 minus 2 was 3. 